Okay, I got the trigger set and I just wanted to show you a few things and a couple uh, pointers. I just I use a standard um, handheld router and uh, remember I told you that the trigger needs to be set one inch deep. Well, I actually set it about an inch and an eighth. I set my router bit at about an inch and an eighth maximum. Um, so you ha gives you a little bit of leeway. And the reason I say that is if you're doing a open, I mean a closed muzzle, you'll want it, it's going to have to be set deep so you don't wind up bottoming out. But um, what I do is um, I, I router, if it's an uh, inch and an eighth deep, I router a half an inch first. It, it's you got better control of it that way, and it doesn't tend to want to snatch around on you. So, uh, a half an inch, uh, the first shot, and you can see my um, lines on here where I marked it out exactly where I wanted it, uh, right in the center, just as center as it can be, and then uh, router a half an inch out, and then go your other um, uh, uh, half an inch plus the eighth and um, router it out and then you'll have to get a, a nice sharp uh, quarter inch chisel and just um, s square the corners up and um, so it fits down in there nice and snug you want it to fit as snug as it you know as, as you can it looks nicer that way but let me just show you where, where we're at on it um, what I usually do to make sure that everything's right as I go ahead and it's easy to set just set the just set the trigger mechanism it's set and I put it back down in uh, the holder here it fits snug you want it to fit snug you don't want it to fit sloppy it fits nice and stug, snug and I'm gonna push it down to the max because uh, I most of my guns I build I build them as a um, semi enclosed and and they're for the most part they're flush with the with the wood so um, as you can see I should have showed you before I stuck it in there. As you can see, I contoured my trigger. I like it, you know, a little contoured, and it don't hit the bottom. So it's 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 in, and um, you know, it's it's the, the trigger slots nice and even on it. There's there's uh, plenty of gap between the trigger and the housing, and then um, you just pull it back to make sure you have you know release before it hits anything, and. Right there's the release. So you, you're back as far as you can get that trigger. Um, like I said before, you want it back as far as you can get it. For once you put everything together, that gives you maximum stretch. You can put maximum stretch on your bands um, without putting a reverse trigger mechanism in it. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this trigger uh, housing back out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and set my um, uh, poly slide. Go ahead and set my poly slide in here. Um, and uh, router it out for my um, spear and we'll go from there.